did a poll to see what type of games you wanted us to look at for December's PS Plus Platinum Picks, and we had some pretty strong feedback. A lot of people are bored of easy plats, some don't like RPGs, and some men just want to watch the world burn. Like Dead Man. So Crew and I put our thinking caps on and dug deep into our gaming hearts to find the perfect theme for this month. After much deliberation, we decided to look at games that are so addictive you simply have to platinum them. Games so fun that you just cannot put that controller down until you see that glorious platinum pop in the corner. So let's go. Game 1. OG God of War. For those of you who jumped on the God of War bandwagon with 2018's stellar soft reboot, it might be time for you to see how Kratos became the dreaded ghost of Sparta. Opening with Kratos so traumatised by the memories of his most appalling acts that he is intent on impaling himself on a bed of rocks. Failing, as expected for an immortal, Kratos seeks an end to his nightmares and revenge against the god who cursed and enslaved him. Recruited by Athena, Kratos seeks out Pandora's box, which he believes holds the power to kill a god. Specifically, Ares. The story is simply superb and this alone will have you hooked but it's not the most addictive part of Kratos' debut. Hack and slash combat has never been so much fun with the chains of Olympus and an arsenal of brilliant weapons and abilities. There is no difficulty related trophy so you can slap it on easy and just kick back and enjoy slicing and dicing your way through a divinely brilliant roster of enemies. Boss fights are on such another level in God of War that you might wonder what went wrong with boss fights in the reboot. What is even more insane is that the enemy variation and boss fight quality just go up and up with each instalment of the original trilogy. There may not be a difficulty trophy, but there is a speedrun trophy, and this will be done in a second playthrough as it doesn't allow you enough time to grab all the collectibles unless you are a speedrunner god. But it's not too tough, as you already know how to solve all the puzzles. Another element of the game that is just absolutely fucking brilliant, and it can all be done on easy. But there is one hard goldie that makes you rage smash a controller, the I'll take the physical challenge for beating the challenge of the gods, and this is the platinum breaker for some. These challenges are brutally difficult and if you played the game on easy it will be a ridiculously big difficulty spike. I suggest you play on higher difficulty so that you are forced to learn the quickest and easiest way to kill enemies and how to cope when you are seriously outnumbered, which will happen a lot. <laughs> God of War 1, 2 and their shitty prequel Ascension are available on PS Plus Premium now. The first game is a little bit spicy, has a 6 out of 10 difficulty, 2 playthroughs and a 20 hour completion estimate. Oh, but the best thing about the OG trilogy? There's no fucking Atreus. Game 2, Bulletstorm. One of the most fun platinum trophies of my 2023. Bulletstorm is pretty much a Gears of War parody with crude humour, B-movie level violence and a token hot chick to gore cap. You play as Grayson, disgraced soldier on the run and looking for revenge on the bastard general that betrayed and framed him. Armed with guns and your trusty leash, you have to carry your foul-mouthed protagonist to his vengeance. Bulletstorm is a PS3 FPS that will make you cry with laughter. The characters aren't the only hilarious and addictive element of this game though, the skill shots are as fun as they are cringeworthy, with several requiring you to shoot enemies in their genitals. Yes, you must shoot them in the dick. In the dick! There is a very hard playthrough that will test your skills, but doing this in New Game Plus will allow you to keep all your weapons and upgrades, making it much, much easier. But if you crave a real challenge, do it first time. I estimate it as an 8 out of 10 difficulty without upgrades. There are also some online trophies, but it's not much, and you only need one boosting buddy for about an hour or so to get the two player centered trophies. The Anarchy Master Bronzer requires two players having perfect games, but it's against AI and is really straightforward. I generally found the online the most fun part of my Platinum Adventure with Bulletstorm, so thank you for recommending the game, thank you for boosting it with me, you absolute legend, Dead Man. And if you haven't seen Dead Man's trophy list, check the link out in the description, because wow, god tier. Finally, you have Echoes, and these are very small portions of parts of the story in which you have to earn X amount of points to earn three stars, of which you have to three star all of them. These are actually great fun, much like the challenges in God of War, but maybe not as tricky. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition is on PS Plus Extra right now. It's 5 out of 10 difficulty, two playthroughs, Echoes and Online makes it a little bit spicy, but will only take you around 30 hours to Platinum. It also has a 1.91% Ultra Rare Platinum Trophy, and I guarantee no other Ultra Rare Plat will make you laugh harder than Bulletstorm. Game 3, Skyrim. Yeah, we're going retro, we're going classic, we're going vintage, whatever you want to call it, we're going back to Skyrim. Now, I know, I know, everyone and their mum has played Skyrim, right? Well, no, actually, not one of the three Skyrim trophy stacks has more than a 14% Platinum rarity. But it's such a great game to Platinum that I had to include it here and encourage more people to seek out that glorious Platinum. 
For those new to Tamriel, Skyrim is the fifth installment in the Elder Scrolls series. You are the Dragonborn and you are destined to destroy Alduin, the World Destroyer, who happens to be an actual dragon unlike you, who will merely collect abilities connected to dragons that are generally pretty shit. <laughs> But if dragon slaying isn't your thing, never fear. Skyrim has a vast array of things to do, things to steal, and things to kill. The Platinum is far simpler than you may think, and can be done in around 40 hours if you don't get distracted. There is simply too much going on for you not to get distracted, and that is Skyrim's best and arguably worst feature. It is so Moorish. The more you explore, the more quests you open, the more characters you meet, giving you more and more options with every decision you make. The Platinum requires you to level yourself up nicely, build a few houses, finish the main story, major side objectives, and collectibles. There are a few miscellaneous trophies, and my favourite was the Master Criminal Bronzer for having a bounty of 1,000 gold in every area, which makes it almost impossible to do anything or get anywhere, because you can't fast travel while you wanted, so you have to just run from area to area. It was the most fun I had playing the whole game. And I did it naked with no weapons, no magic, no nothing, just to see if I could do it. And so much fun. Skyrim's PS3 and PS4 stacks are on PS Plus Extra right now. It has a 5 out of 10 difficulty and goes in as a brilliant simple solo. One of my all-time favourite games. Enjoy, especially if it's your first time stepping into Tamriel. Game 4, Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami is a lot like anal. Some people love it, some people hate it. But whatever you feel about it, it's going to feel a lot like you're being fucked in the ass. Oh my. Now, I actually own this game on two different systems, Steam and PlayStation, and I'm yet to 100% either. So yes, I clearly like to get fucked in the ass. Oh no! <laughs> what a twat. Hotline Miami is a retro-looking top-down tactical shooter where you have to progress through each level, taking out every enemy you find. This sounds simple, but it takes planning, improvisation, and quick reflexes. Hotline is addictive for two reasons, the short but brilliantly constructed levels and the gloriously synthwave and electro-pop score. Now, I don't really know music, but what I do know is this soundtrack is cool as fuck. If you're a fan of the high-paced kinetic FPS slasher, Ghost Runner, then you might very much enjoy this game. Miami brings the heat to its platinum with some pretty challenging trophies. A few tricky miscellaneous trophies for kills can be frustrating, but that is nothing in comparison to the get a life goldie that is earned by a plusing every single level in the game. Some collectibles and story trophies round off your platinum adventure, but the completion estimate is a mere 10 hours, making it the shortest platinum on this list. However, don't let that fool you into thinking it's easy. Both PlayStationTrophies.org and PSMP call the game a 5 out of 10 difficulty, and this is only true for lovers of the genre. If this isn't your bag, then you may find it excruciatingly harder. Hotline Miami 1 and 2 are on extra right now. Game 5, Destroy All Humans. One of my childhood favourites getting the glorious remake treatment, and this is a prime example of how to get a remake right. As hilarious as it is fun, the Destroy All Humans remake is an absolute must platinum for any trophy hunter. Crypto is a filthy-minded alien lead that will make you crave a Jack Nicholson movie binge. I think we're getting a picture of... A simple solo that asks you to finish the story, do some side objectives, grab some collectibles, and take on some tricky but not overly hard challenges to earn this hilarious platinum trophy. The story is nonsense but absolutely great fun, while the gameplay is significantly improved from the original. You will move from area to area completing missions, clearing objectives on the map, and moving on to the next, whether on foot, with your trusty Zappomatic, or flying high in your saucer blasting through buildings and abducting people to turn into upgrades for your powers. If you are a fan of the Tim Burton Invasion comedy Mars Attacks, then this is the platinum for you. Destroy Your Humans is on extra right now, it has a 4 out of 10 difficulty, a 15 hour completion time, and is honestly one of the most hilarious and amusing games you will ever play. The voice acting in this game is just on a whole other level, right? Just whole other level just top level and the sequel has anthony stewart head from buffy so that's that's a winner right game six rayman legends now rayman's legendary platinum looks fucking terrifying right well as someone who's platted it i feel i should tell you it's not actually that bad i promise but i might just be lying to make that sweet platinum even rarer than it already is you'll have to try to find out Rayman Legends is not at all that crazy. The base game is brilliant fun, although it does have some tricky spots. There's nothing overly hard, and with a bit of practice, you should be able to unlock every teensy, get all the royals, and complete every painting. 
There are the Origins paintings to work through too, but these are pretty easy and the biggest challenge offline comes in the form of micro-levels, the Invasion paintings. In these difficult little fuckers, you race against the clock to finish in time to save all three teensies. This is where most of your offline frustration will be had. The big challenge with Rayman is the 11th level of awesomeness, which can only be earned online in daily challenges. The base game only gets you so far, and from level 9 onwards, you'll be dependent on those daily and weekly challenges to get you over the line. The problem is, this takes an absolute minimum of 90 days. For most players, this will take 6 months, and that is a commitment and a half. Trust me, it ain't easy. Just remember the 100 hour completion estimate is less daunting when you realise, for most of that time, you'll only be playing 10 minutes a day. Rayman Legends is a true test of dedication and commitment, but is a brilliant, fun and addictive game with great levels, better music and a glorious platinum trophy. 100 hours, minimum of 3 months to platinum, plenty of replaying levels multiple times, but a platinum so fun, so addictive, it is worth every single second. Rayman Legends is on PS Plus Extra right now, but you never know when Ubisoft might just randomly decide to close those servers. So start soon for a better chance of getting that plat. Which of these bangers are you going to platinum? Have you got any of them already? Shout out in the comments. What thing do you want to see us look into for January's episode? Let us know in the comments. I'm Zach, she's crew. This is ZXL. Be good to each other.